open Pacific again, briefly, as we leave Seaforth Channel and enter Millbank Sound. The wind and the seas are quite moderate, and we'll soon be in the more protected waters of the sound itself. Sailing up Millbank Sound at the end of the day. Hopefully we'll be able to continue sailing after we round that point ahead and get into Finlayson Channel. Haven't had a lot of opportunity to sail so far. With the wind either on our nose or non-existent the whole way. The cruising guide says the fish boats cross this sound sometimes, but the pleasure craft take the longer flat water route through Matheson Channel. We decided to go the fish boat route. up Finlayson Channel. Late in the day. Moving along very nicely now. New jib's looking good. So I think I need to move the jib leads back a bit. Island, that primeval looking peak rising out of the water, and it shelters Clem to Passage from Finlayson Channel. We're going to enter in there and see if we can find somewhere to anchor in Close Bay nearby to Clem to. into the entrance to Clem to Passage and up Finlayson Arm. Spectacular. Spent the night anchored here in Close Bay off of Clem 2 Passage. It's a beautiful spot. We have it all to ourselves. The fish boat came in late at night and left early in the morning. I never saw them, just their anchor light. Other than that, it's been just us. Now we're going to head north up Clem 2 Passage to uh, Indian village of Clem 2. Absolutely amazing. 
sure if they'll show up on this video or not. They're really putting on a show for the camera. After walking around the friendly Indian village of Plemto, we're heading up Tolmi Channel. From there, we'll go into Princess Royal Channel. We're going with the flood right now, just adding a couple of knots to our speed. Princess Royal floods north for the first half of it, and then floods south for the second half. So we've timed our departure so that we'll have the current with us all the way up. <laughs> 